what's up you guys this is rob from a gay guy plays and today on the snapshot we will be taking a look at hydroid prime now clearly as many of you guys know i'm gonna do more detailed reviews following this video but i wanted to get you kind of like a first look to kind of get your head around all of the stats and some of the new interesting features so let's go ahead and jump straight in. Um, as you can see, it's a no cam day because literally I just got out of the shower. But speaking of being all wet, this is Hydroid Prime and as you can see, he's actually got a 50 point boost to his armor, a 25 point boost to his energy, which is really, really cool because he recently got that energy upgrade. So if you like the energy that he had before, he's going to have even more of that now. And to top it off, he's going to have additional shields. So there's a lot more survivability added to him, which is absolutely fantastic. And it kind of synergizes well with this puddle because now he can kind of sync down into his puddle and regenerate if you need to get any of that back so it's a nice boost to um, survivability and the model itself is fantastic one thing that I do have to point out is that he is decked out in the full uh, sprit sail armor uh, which is which comes with prime access so you can kind of take a look at that real quick but hydroid prime does have his own individual shoulder pieces which we will take a look at in a little bit now because I need to make good on my bets <laughs> as many of you know I've actually bet life of Rio that uh, there's gonna be a different prime coming out after this so unfortunately we're gonna have to take a look at this for the rest of this specific video um, and maybe for the next one too we'll see we'll see so I'm actually comparing the rock to ballistica to the ballistica Ballistica Prime and uh, the Rock the, the the Ballistica Prime actually has a very very interesting feature into it that we'll get to in a little bit. But as you can see here, its charge rate has increased, its critical multiplier has gone up. Um, its critical chance still remains the same, but you know, good critical multiplier, it's better. The magazine has gone up, which is absolutely fantastic on this thing. Its reload has like shrunk down to 1.2. That's amazing. The status chance is 20%. This is going to be like a strong contender for some really good ribbons because those base stats are not half bad at all. And it looks like it's got a boost um, to its base damage. I'm just kind of like looking at it real quick just to make sure. It looks like it's got a, a general boost to its base damage. It's got an increase to its slash and a reduction to its puncture. So the IPS might be shifted over just a little bit on that one. Um, let me do the math real quick. So it's got a four point boost. <laughs> it's got a four point boost to its base damage. However, kind of like if you think about it, it's not too bad when you kind of think of all of the extra supplemental stats that has the faster reload. And it's geared a little bit more towards slash than it was before. So that's definitely a positive when we take a look at a status weapon. Sorry I did those calculations live for you, but you know what? Rob doesn't get all of his answers instantaneously. I gotta I gotta search them up myself. So uh, let's go ahead and equip that and finish things off with the Nami Skylar Prime. Now one of the things that people had been asking about for the Nami Skylar Prime is maybe that potentially could be like a dual, uh, dual weapon where you could slot in a different stance and it would change over to just a uh, Nami solo. Unfortunately, that is not the case. I tried it out myself. However, the attack speed has gone up to 1.33, which is fantastic. The critical chance has gone up, but its critical multiplier has not. But check that out. A 5% uh, critical chance up to a 20% critical chance. Um, it's looking like pretty much all of his base damage has gone up. So that's definitely a good thing to keep in mind. Um, and its status chance has gone up to 30% as well. So for those of you out there who are looking for a real good, for a real good dual wield weapon, this, this feels like it's gonna be up there. I mean, the critical multiplier is not all that fantastic, but because of the fact that this is slash based and it's got 30% status, that's gonna make it a big contender in itself. And the last thing that we do want to take a look at right here is, um, are the little, what is this, the Sardinis? What, what are they called? The Sardinis, uh, oh my god, uh, the Sardin Prime Sugatra. Uh, they need, I feel like they just need a little, a little bit of love on the physics, and I could, I could get behind them a little bit, but they definitely look like sardines. <laughs> So that's a thing. Now let's go ahead and jump into some special things that the Ballistica Prime can do because that is what is really, really interesting with this whole pack right here. Okay, so just as proof for you guys who are curious, Nami Skylar Prime can only use dual sword stances, which means that we're not going to have the machete stance that we really, really want. I figured I would show that to you while we were here because I did want to put at least one or two mods into, uh, into the, what is this called? The Ballistica Prime? And maybe a little bit of speed. Can we just get a little bit of speed for this, for this, uh, for this specific demonstration? Let's toss a gunslinger in there real quick. And as you can see, you can see the polarities in there too. So, good, good on ya. 
feeling good about this, but what I thought would be cool is to grab a couple butchers. Let's do like three butchers. And let's simulate those fuckers real fast. Now, as you can see here, the charge shot creates a ghost that he's got to fight. What is that? That's two ghosts now. Look at that shit. That's fucking amazing. Oh my god, didn't even have to kill that last guy. That is absolutely fantastic. So, as I was saying earlier, I will be doing full-on videos in a little bit that kind of feature all of this stuff. And uh, we'll probably do a fashion frame video for Hydroid 2 just to kind of make up for this hideous mess. You can thank Life of Rio for that, but you know, a Lannister always pays his debts. Uh, regardless, this is it for now. I'll go ahead and toss up any any links at the end of this video to kind of go into the more in-depth stuff as soon as those videos come out. But that about does it for now. I'm going to get to leveling and uh, we'll talk more Hydroid Prime, probably even later tonight. So I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye bye